Boys, today I have some juicy content. So if you were watching the episodes last year, Nick and I took the twin engine Starlet out to the roll racing that we had up in Darwin. And if you could see by the clip, I was um, crapping myself thinking that all was gonna die, purely because the front has no traction. coming through the gears in a rolling start, second peels, third, third gear just peels and um, fourth gear is peeling as well and when we've got 100% traction on the back it tends to steer the car over to the left and kept pulling me over into the left lane. So the solution to this is we've been trying to figure out a traction control system and how we can manage the wheel spin that's happening on the front. Uh, Nick came up with an idea of running a uh, drive-by wire throttle body on the front along with wheel speed sensors on the front and back so when we can pick up a wheel speed differential uh, from the front to the back, we can have it so it slowly closes the throttle body. Now in theory that all sounded good and well, um, we spoke with one of our buddies Ryan, he's come up with an idea that sounds pretty good as well. Um, so what we're going to have is, along with wheel speed sensors on the front and back, we're also going to have a trigger to set up on the rear engine, so that way the front engine running the Haltech has an engine RPM signal from front to rear. So when it picks up that the front's spinning faster than what the rear is, we can reduce timing, we can reduce boost and ultimately control the, the traction issues there. The wheel speed sensors are going to be great as well because then we can enter boost by speed um, and also add that in to just collect more data. And having the wheel speed sensors will also tell us if we're having clutch slipping issues and things like that. We can measure the clutch slip off a line. Gives us a lot more data to go back and look at and, and analyze what's going on. So Ryan being the clever fellow that he is, I left him in the office here with a pair of verniers and a ruler. And he got there with a gearbox, measured up and designed and a bracket that'll bolt onto the side of the gearbox. And he's also designed a special tooth ring that'll slip over the drive shaft shop CVs that we have on the inner. So rather than having to drill out the outer hubs on the, the factory Starlet hubs, we can just have this all bolted up and, and working from the inner CB there. He's then gone and had that printed just out of a nylon plastic, but he also has connections to get it printed out of carbon fiber once it's done. That'll ensure that we don't get any wobbles and, and things like that, or the sensor moving or breaking off or anything like that. It'll be, it'll be super strong. One thing that's awesome as well about going this direction, having the engine speed sensors and also the wheel speed sensors being input into the ECU, it means that when we go drag racing, we're running the drag slicks. I have a nine inch drag slick on the front. It means we can go and run the car down the track, no worries. And then we could go and run the car on the, the circuit straight for the roll racing, which is pretty much just a basic road surface. And if we're getting any wheel spin, it's gonna compensate that. It also means that if I was ever to drive the car in the rain, again, we're picking up any wheel speed on the front. The engine um, ECU is gonna go, hey, what's going on here? Pull the timing out faster than I can lift the throttle. So it's gonna make it an all round drivable car. There's no point having a car that only I can drive that, you know, not only scares the shit out of me, but if something was to go wrong, I'm gonna put it into the wall pretty easily. I wanna set this up so the traction control issues are sorted. So literally I could give Nick the keys and say, go and have a drive of that. I wanna film from the outside, have a look, see how it sounds and, and things like that. But at the moment, it's just far too, uh, far too dangerous and I don't want Nick to um, have an accident. Now the sensors we're going to be using to pick up the speed on the gearbox is just a basic Haltech Cherry sensor that has three wires. Now we're just going to be running a mild steel ring that presses over the inner CV and it'll have a certain amount of teeth. I'm pretty sure Ryan wanted to go to 36 teeth, that way we get a much accurate reading. So our first roll racing meeting is in four weeks, so we need to get all this sorted, wired up, trialled and tested so we can go out in the roll racing and um, smash some cars. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. If you got any ideas how we could possibly manage our traction any better, I would love to hear from you. I mean, there's not really anything written in a book of how to control traction in a twin engine car, but we're open to all ideas. As usual guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.